So Peyton, I'd love to hear you share a little bit about what does it really mean to live sin? Yeah, it's a great question, and it's one that I think people hear the slogan all the time. What is Lift Scent? Lift Scent simply means that we as the people of God uh, deliberately and strategically take the gospel, and we serve and love people. It's the great commission and the great command. Love God, love people. Great. So if someone in our church is just thinking to themselves, all right, that sounds good. I know that's biblical, but... What does that look like for me and my neighborhood, me and my community to do? Yeah, well there's already some people who are doing it, right? They're, they're pouring their lives out in their neighborhoods. They're strategically inviting and engaging, and, and maybe not everybody's there. We, we know mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. We have ministries and partners who are already, like opportunities to jump in and serve alongside. It's in the ministry that's already there. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to create your own thing. But we right. also want people to, if God calls you to create your own thing, to make much of Jesus in a place that Jesus has not made much of, to do it. Yeah, totally. So. I get really excited about thinking about, we have all these life groups yeah. that meet all over this area, in the church, out of the church. What does it look like for them to come together, just like kind of the history of the church where we see God choosing to use groups of people to bring life change, to yeah. make an impact in their backyards and across the world. What does that look like here? How can we get groups to come together and live sent collectively. Yeah, you know, one of the things that we've been thinking through for a while is how do we really provide opportunities for people to serve together? Mm -hmm. Because we know that as people serve together, they grow together. Mm -hmm. Uh, And part of that requires someone who's leading, right? Who feels that desire. Uh, And so part of the thought process has been uh, God places leaders throughout the church, throughout the history of, of God's people. God sends leaders. Jeremiah 3 is a prime example where he says, I'm going to send shepherds after my own heart Mm -hmm. to give them knowledge and wisdom to lead. And so I think utilizing groups and leaders of those groups to say, come with me, follow me, let's go do this together, Mm -hmm. allows for a greater impact than just an individual. And it's what we see biblically. We see Jesus sent them out in groups, he's in pairs, and he says, go. Uh, And at that point, you. The command is to go, and that's the same command what we, today we stand at Matthew 28, yeah. you know, to go and therefore make disciples. So, yeah, and I know for me, as I think about kind of average people, it's easy to get stuck. We want to, to make a difference, we want to serve, we want to live out the Bible, but then sometimes it's like, man, like, I wish I knew some specific places I could go. I wish I had some people to go with me that could show me, here's how I do this, or here's how I do that. So I think it's easy to be intimidated, but when we go together with our groups, I think it should break down those walls, right? If we have a specific opportunity, our leaders are signing us up for, then all we have to do is show up and trust God. Yeah. And then really just be focused on the people in front of us and how we can love and share uh, God's love with them. As Ephesians 2 says, we are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works that God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Not everybody has the same gifts and therefore not everyone has the same good deeds that must be done. But together we can serve alongside of one another, make much of Jesus, and God is glorified in that. And, and, And this is one thing for sure I want to share is that, you know, today you and I are sitting here as the leader of groups, as a leader of sending, uh, our ministers aren't separated mm-hmm. from the church. To, to people to gather together is biblical. For people to live with the gospel, to make much of Jesus is biblical. Mm-hmm. And so us coming together and doing this together is mm-hmm. what we should do. We're not segmented. Yeah. So. And we get to have conversations like this pretty often. And our dream collectively is to figure out two things. One is, what would it look like to have one week where we could get every single life group we have to step out into Rutherford County and serve people and show them the love of Christ? And then within that, my hope is that this will be a chance for people that are scared to death or intimidated or even just busy to say, this week, I'm gonna step over that hurdle. I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna give it my time. And I'm gonna have my group there with me so that if it does get scarier, it does get uh, outside of my comfort zone, then I have the encouragement that I need. And then collectively as a body, we can just look at this and celebrate, wow, how amazing is it what God did this week when we all came together and lived set and just trusted him to make an incredible impact on our community. So that's what we're trying to do. Peyton, do you wanna tell them a little bit about when it is? Uh, April 8th through 14th, uh, we have reached out to our partners, to our people in our community and said, 
What are ways that we can serve alongside of you that would make much of Jesus, that would meet your needs, and, and monetarily that you couldn't do without us, without the people or without the money? And so we're, we're going to use One Day Funds uh, to extend the ministries of our uh, local ministries and, and, and the local partnerships. Uh, for just that purpose and giving a very specified time. and So you're not signing up for think anything more than just that one week, uh, which is what I think a lot of people are scared of. I don't want to sign up for a long term. Right. But in that, you may find this is the place that God's called you and you want to serve on a regular basis. And because they're our local partners and because of their ministries and part of our church, we won't allow you to do that. But again, let me point back to something else to say that even within our ministries and partners, there's more opportunities mm -hmm. to do this. Uh, and we we're probably going to have to add some. Lord willing, we have to add some because we have so many people, so many of you sign up to do it. Yeah. But that being the case, I also want you to think about what are some ways that maybe God's laid on your heart to make much of Jesus. Maybe it's different than the things we have, but we want to push you first to our partnerships and to our existing ministries that exist to do just that, make much of Jesus and serve people with an eternal view of, you know, they'll suffer uh, apart from Jesus in an eternal suffering. And so, but we want to meet their needs in the suffering and now and here if we can. And, yeah. and, it, and as we do that, we want to make much of Jesus so that they know there's life. Yeah, and I think the key here is we just want to start somewhere. And that somewhere is what we're calling Go Local. And it's just that one week, April 8th to 14th. And so what we're asking uh, is your leaders showing you this video because they want you as a group to really think about how do we want to serve our community? And our sending team's done an amazing job of developing these incredible partnerships that we trust to make an impact in our community. And we're asking you to say, which one of those do you want to serve in? It could be because of what their cause is or what their specific mission is, or it could just be, hey, this is a night or a day of the week that works for us as a group. And for me, I want you as a group to take that week off from your normal time. I don't want busyness to be a reason that someone doesn't dive in and be a part of this. I want you to take off your normal time, pick that time and that opportunity you can serve together, and then just see what God does. And I think it's going to be incredible to see how he shows up throughout uh, the community and throughout our groups. Yeah. Leaders, is go time. Go to lifept.org slash go local. And you can find all the opportunities you can serve during the week of April 8th through 14th. And ladies, we just wanna make sure you register by March 24th. And what I'd say to everyone and every group out there is just keep in mind, this is a really unique opportunity for all of us to come together and serve our community all within a one week period. Don't let anything get in the way of you being a part of what God's about to do this week.